Not only are we dealing with a global pandemic, we are in the grip of a friendship recession. And the problem is particularly bad for men. Psychotherapist Mary Jo Rapini is live to help us get through this. Good morning, Mary Jo. Thank you for joining us. Good morning and thank you. Okay, now, why is this a problem now and why are men particularly hit hard? Boy, those are good questions. What's happening is since the pandemic, it seems like a lot of people kind of were reluctant about getting together or socializing with friends on Zoom. So what they did was they just started excluding people and they basically kept their you know outings to very limited people. So now after the recession, we're finding that a lot of the loneliness epidemic is caused by people not going back to those friendships and trying to do it alone. Now, if it hits men hard, how is it affecting women? With women, it's not as hard because women naturally are socialized to network more, Jose. Men are taught and socialized to be competitive, to be quiet, to handle things on their own. And they're not really given permission or taught, mentored, how to be empathic with each other and more brotherly toward each other. And that's what we need to do right now. Now, you have five suggestions that can help people connect with friends. One is be bold by setting an intention to meet and reach out first. That's right, because it can feel awkward when you haven't talked to somebody and you don't even know where to begin with them. But it's, it's important that you initiate the date and just, you know, go for it. Ask them to do something with you. Keep it simple, I think. Okay, you say plan and get together. Get together. You will both enjoy Yes, you want to plan something you're both going to enjoy doing because the idea of getting together again is to feel a comrade, a comrade entity that you're both together in this, that you're good friends. Okay, number three, keep it simple, but address the changes you've been through. That's right. We don't want to start, you know, sweeping things under the rug. And I think it's important when you're developing a friendship, especially if it's an old friend, is explaining to them about the losses that occurred during the pandemic. So they understand it wasn't that you didn't care about them. It's just that you were overwhelmed with the changes happening in your own life. Number four, expect to face some tough emotions. That's right. I mean, when you when you start getting together again, it's going to feel really good. You're going to feel bad, maybe some guilt or shame that you let this friendship go. And not only that, but when you get together again, you start seeing another side of yourself. And that's so important to restore that side. Number five, plan something you can both look forward to in the future. That's right. You never want to leave the meetup just just getting together you want to have something you both look forward to maybe make a date to go to a game or you know to get together for drinks or go to the gym together whatever it is you plan it's important you do have something that keeps you kind of excited about seeing this person again in the present mary joe thank you so very much for all of your responses great questions well, and thank great... you jose it's good <laughs> to talk to you again likewise likewise great to see you